and welcome to MedShadow TV. My name is Sue Rabadi and I'm the founder of MedShadow. Hi, I'm Jonathan Block and I'm the content editor at MedShadow. Today, Jonathan came up with the idea for our, for our MedShadow TV. Um, he was looking at the FDA reporting sites for when you have an adverse event or a very negative side effect for a drug or a medical device and realized it's maybe not as easy as it looks. So he went through the process and he's here to tell us a little bit about what it's like. Sure. Uh, first of all, if you do experience an adverse event or very serious side effect, the first thing you should do is to not report to the FDA, but to contact your doctor or healthcare professional immediately uh, so that they could take uh, immediate action. Uh, the system that Sue was talking about is known as the MedWatch system. This is the database that the FDA compiles um, from reports of side effects and adverse events from both patients as well as healthcare professionals. Uh, the good news is that um, you can actually access uh, the MedWatch site by going to our homepage at medshadow.org and on the right side of the page you will find uh, a link to the MedWatch reporting site which will allow you to submit a um, to submit a report to the FDA. Uh, the first thing that you should know um, when doing this uh, is that you should, if possible, have the medication available uh, mm -hmm. in front of you um, because you're going to have to enter in information such as uh, the expiration date. You're going to need to know the dosage that you are taking, obviously the name of the drug, uh, the name of the manufacturer. This is all information that the FDA is going to want to know about when you are making your report. Um, when you do go um, to the MedWatch page, the first thing you're going to do is, uh, after clicking on um, making a report as a patient, because there's another um, way to make a report, but that is for healthcare professionals, is they're going to want to know a little bit more about the problems. They're going to ask a series of questions where most of which you're only going to have to check boxes, um, such as um, why um, they provide details as to why it happened, uh, the date that it occurred, um, and if you have any tests or lab data that are related uh, to your condition and thus might be connected to the medication. But that's a little bit tricky um, as I was looking at it, mm -hmm. just because you said it was so interesting. I noticed that if you report online, they don't accept any attachments. So you'll have to write down the information um, on any lab tests that you got. However, there are four different ways to report adverse events, mm -hmm. events to, the, to the FDA through MedWatch. And the easiest way is online, as Jonathan saying. However, you can also print out the form. You can call the FDA with an 800 number. It's on our screen now. And you can have your doctor report for you. That would be the fourth way. Exactly. And um, the next step after uh, there's a page where you describe your problem is to talk about the product that you've been taking. Um, just to, to go back a little bit, the reporting site is not just for prescription drugs. You can prescription medicines, any food, because it's the FDA, Food Correct. and Drug Administration, biologics, things like blood, plasma, tissue, human cells, medical devices, any combination devices, uh, special nutritionals, they do want to hear about infant formula or foods for seniors, um, and cosmetics. You can complain about cosmetics there too. I noticed when I was going through the form that they seemed to, um, they had check boxes on the website and that, that asked you, were you hospitalized, did you mm -hmm. die, presumably did someone die, um, were you disabled. Um, the implication if I were filling it out <clears throat> and, I were, and I wanted to complain that this pill had made me extremely nauseous or this pill had given me a full body rash or, or some, some, some complaint of that nature, that is a very valid adverse event or side effect to report to the FDA and to MedWatch. It doesn't quite seem like that because it's not one of the check boxes. They're, they really want to find the big events, but those not so big events are incredibly important for doctors to know about and for the FDA to know about um, so that they can really 
determine if these side effects are worth the benefits of the drugs over the long term. Exactly, exactly. Um, the med, as I was saying before, um, you want to keep the medication that you're using because um, another, another thing you're going to have to fill out is uh, the dosage that you're taking, uh, the name of the drug, uh, how frequently you're taking it, the manufacturer, that sort of thing, and there's a fee, there's a field to put that information in. Uh, then there's another page where they want to know more about you mm -hmm. as far as your age, uh, your sex obviously, your ethnicity, as well as any medical conditions that uh, that you might be suffering from as well as other medications that you are taking as well as any nutritional supplements because there is a possibility that uh, the side effect or adverse event that you're experiencing could be related to a interaction with one of those other products that you are taking. And don't forget to include everything even if it's not asked about. If you're taking an herbal supplement, if you're taking vitamin pills, those are all, all products that can interact with you. And don't forget this also covers medical devices. So if you're having a problem with a, a knee replacement, um, a shoulder replacement, or, or a hearing aid is a medical device, a crutch is a medical device, all, all legitimate to file here. Exactly. And then the last part that you'll have to do is actually very simple. They're going to ask for your name. You don't have to give them your address, but I would suggest that you do that so that because um, they may want to, uh, you know, be in contact you, with you via mail. And I, I guess the bottom line is that if you do have an adverse event um, and it's serious, absolutely do report it. Um, it's through this kind of reporting that the FDA can investigate and take potential action against um, against drug manufacturers and uh, in regards to a particular drug. And by doing that, you may very well be helping other people out uh, who, um, you know, in terms of um, getting more research done on the medication. Well put, Jonathan. Thanks. And I think that's it for Med Shadow TV today. It is. Thanks very much. And don't forget to check out our website at www.medshadow.org for more information. Thank you.